I hope everyone is safe. This is Sad Manos. Welcome to computer class. Today we'll start the first chapter. Let's enjoy the class. So this is chapter one: operating system and graphical user interface role and functions. Today we'll discuss what is an operating system, need of an operating system, evolution of operating system, role and functions of an operating system. So we'll start from operating system. It is an integrated set of programs that manage various resources and the overall operations of a computer system. Overall operations means to input, how to process, and to display the output. These things automatically the operating system will do. Listen one thing: if there is no operating system in a computer, your computer cannot run anything. Uh, all the application softwares can run because of this operating system. So it is a platform. so that all the application software can run in the computer system so it is necessary to load any one of the computer system for example ms dos windows now tell me which windows operating system is loaded in your computer mm well windows 10 okay so this windows 10 windows 7 windows xp windows 8 these all are uh, operating system of windows an operating system is known by different name for example Apple's operating system is Mac OS, OS. So Linux, Unix, these all are the examples of operating system. So operating system is needed for the smooth functioning of computer. It works in the following manner. Now see, the user writes the program by using an input device, keyboard, mouse. These are the input device. The source program is read and loaded in the memory, and the compiler translates the program and creates an object code. Uh, after removing the errors the compiled program is ready for execution the user executes the program and gets the output on the screen so this way the computer works uh, the user means the person who is sitting in front of the computer so when the user will write a program through an input device it will accept as you know that computer understands only binary language so the computer converts that language into binary language so it it is done by the compiler so the compiler convert the source code to object code source code means simple english language done by the user and object code means uh, when the when the program convert to uh, binary code that is said to be object code that is uh, machine readable so source code is a human readable and object code is machine readable so after removing the error the compiled program is ready for execution after execution the program gets the output on the screen so these things are done by an operating system automatically it will convert a source program to uh, object program so understand source code means the program which is written by the user simple english language and uh, the object code is the machine readable uh, that is the final output you can see on the screen clear now we will discuss need of an operating system Uh, first point it coordinates different hardware and software components of a computer system it supervises the various activities of a computer system and enables the computer to function in a efficient manner it helps the in smooth functioning of various peripherals it sends messages to the system operator about the status of the operation or any error that may have occurred while running an application so peripherals means the devices which are attached to the computer that is monitor keyboard mouse etc so these are the need of an operating system clear so these are the need of an operating system these points you have to remember uh, it coordinates different hardware and software okay so it helps in the smooth functioning of various peripherals so now we'll discuss evolution of an operating system you know the first operating system was developed in the early 1950s by IBM it was not as advanced as today's operating system so finally we can say it is an integrated set of program that manages various resources and the overall operations of a computer system uh, the next is role of an operating system each computer system consists of an operating system that enables a user to use the system efficiently an uh, operating system allows the user to input data and receive the output so it is an interesting to know that all the tasks are performed by the operating system automatically it manages various applications that run on a computer and shares computer resources so user interacts through cli that is command line interface or gui that is graphical user interface 
okay so in short we can say operating system interacts with the computer system uh, by acting as an interface between the user and the computer's hardware so this is the role of operating system so cli means only command user interface now we are using windows operating system so it is gui it means uh, no need to re no need to need no need to remember any kind of commands direct you can operate with the help of the menus clear earlier uh, we were using uh, dos so that require commands so in that way command line user interface and uh, in windows graphic user interface clear so user can interact through cli as well as gui dos related to cli and windows related to gui uh, now functions of an operating system as you can clearly see the uh, bold letters that is written b e d l m m it means these are the functions of an operating system b booting the computer e ensuring data security d detecting and correcting errors l loading the program in the memory m managing resources m maintaining the internal clock of the system so these functions we'll discuss in the next class clear so today uh, we discussed operating system uh, then a uh, need of an operating system evolution of an operating system role and function of an operating system the duty is to read these things okay have a nice day